Right, in this video I want to show you how I made this stand for rifles so you can actually bench test them or put your scopes on whilst they're in the um, stand. It makes it much easier so you can actually concentrate on putting the scope on without having to hold the rifle separately. And it's dead easy to make out of stainless steel and aluminium. It's also low cost to make out of 12mm stainless steel and the aluminium is one inch by half inch and I bought these two um, V parts on eBay I got them from China um, just a couple of pounds I think they were and they have a six millimeter um, thread in the underside there so you can screw them onto a part so now I'll go out into the workshop and show you basically how I made it Right, to make this adjustable rifle stand, I bought some one inch times half inch um, flat bar and then I cut off two pieces here, um, six inches long and just cleaned up the ends on a disc sander. Then I've got some stainless steel which is 12 millimeter in diameter. I've got 450 millimeter sawn off to length and um, I just cleaned up the ends on the disc sander again. You can make them about um, 500 millimeter long if you want. I would have made mine that but this is all I had in stock at the moment so I'm making mine 450 millimeter long. So firstly uh, I put the two parts together here like this and measuring about 12 millimeter from the ends and scribe across um, one in the middle and obviously turn around and do the other end about 12 millimeter end and then just scribe down roughly in the center with my homemade scribe tool And then just center punch both the um, outer ends. And then the middle line is carried over the top and scribe that one. and just send punch those in the center. And that's obviously for the plastic rifle rest part to screw on. And now I can put these on the bench drill and just drill these through, drill down the top here with the um, core diameter for a quarter UNC thread which is the same as in this one here and then screw tap that one down so I drilled through with a small drill first and now I'm drilling through with the 12 millimeter um, drill which is the same size as the um, stainless steel bar and I'm using those um, drills that I got from uh, Banggood the other day so it's just testing these out on the aluminium and see how they cut up and they're excellent for that as well and I forgot to mention I carried the lines up over the ends here as well so that I've got a center dot in the or a center punch hole in the top here and this is for my locking screw so I'm going to drill and tap these for six millimeter thread so I can use a six millimeter allen bolt or grub screw in the top here so I've done all the drilling and tapping on both parts and if you're new to engineering use a five millimeter core diameter for a six millimeter thread 
and you can see there that's going down the centre of these um, bar holes for the locking screws so I put six millimetre screws in those. I'm going to make an adapter up here with the quarter inch UNC thread for the um, rifle rest plastic parts. And I use these um, new tools here from Drill Pro. It's a tool that slips over a um, tap. It has a cone end cutter on, and when you do the screw tapping, it compresses the spring, puts tension on the um, cone cutter here, and it'll put a, uh, like a chamfer on the end of the thread all in one go with the screw tapping. So if you do a, a shorter thread, you can undo the um, locking uh, nuts here or bolts here and push it down a bit. And that saves a lot of time. Often when you do screw tapping, you have to deburr the end with a cone or a burr. And that sometimes throws up another burr inside the thread, which you have to clear out by putting the screw tap down again. But these tools made by Drill Pro cut all that out. So that's the adjustable base finished. And now I'm going to make the adapters for the um, height adjustment and the um, rests. While I've been doing the video, I've just realised that these are 6mm thread in these ones, which is excellent. I thought they were quarter UNC because they were tripod amounts and most camera um, stuff and things like that has quarter inch um, UNC, but like I said, it's 6mm, so that makes it much easier to make. So that's the 6mm thread done one end and now I'm going to turn it around and do the other end. So then I lock tie a grub screw, a stainless steel 6mm grub screw into each end. So that there's about 10 or 12mm protruding. And the same with one end of the adapter. So the decorative grooves will go to the top, so the grub screw will go into the top of that one, leaving about that much protruding for the V-rest. Then that one can screw onto that Part and lock that up. I don't lock that one on with Loctite 638 so I can actually take it apart again. And the V-Rest comes with this um, rubber spacer so you need to make sure you've got enough 
um, to screw down onto that one. There is a bit of a um, shoulder there for that one to sit on. So screw that one on. And then you can use that rubber to turn it until you get the correct orientation. Like that. So that's the back one done. And you need to make it so that it's obviously um, clearance on the back of the um, rifle here so that when you have it level there's a gap below. So now I'm making the front riser bar. I've done the six millimeter thread in the underside and now I'm doing an eight millimeter thread as deep as I can get it so that I can have an adjustment thread on the top. And I'm taking this thread in and out a few times so it doesn't clog up when it's cutting. Next I get an 8mm coach bowl and I'm going to face off this end here, centre drill it, drill it with a 5mm core diameter drill for the 6mm thread and then screw tap that one with 6mm and then I'm going to put a um, grub screw in this one with Loctite 638.
and put the grub screw in check it first for the depth obviously to fit the V-rest put the Loctite 638 in it and screw it home tight and wipe off the excess Loctite 638 and that saves having to die cut a component And then lastly on this part, I've sawn it to length. I found out the ideal height to give myself a bit of adjustment up and down still. And then I put a eight millimeter butterfly nut on like that. Then this one screws into the aluminium riser part. And you can set the height then, I'll screw mine right way down. Line it up and then lock it up with the butterfly nut. So like I say, you can either make a collar up, but you do need to put um, quite a bit of tightness on that one to lock it up so it's best to use either a butterfly nut or an ordinary nut with a spanner and to finish off i found some soft rubber o-rings um six of them and i pushed these down over the v part of the stand and they naturally fall into the grooves on the um, v plastic part on the outside here so they stay in position and you have many different grooves there so you can actually um, move them to different positions to suit your rifle so when the rifle goes into the stand it's not sitting on the hard plastic but it's sitting on those o-rings so that stops it from moving about i've put two on the back end there's all that's needed on the back end and four on the front So this is the finished stand, it's turned out excellent, I'm really pleased with it, I've got full adjustment backwards and forwards for various different rifles, plus I've got this adjustment here to alter the angle. So that's a quick and easy method of making a nice stand, you can make them a bit better if you want to, you can make uh, the bolts here so that they're finger tightening rather than using an allen bolt and an allen key. Plus if you want to spend the time you can make the V part here of aluminium or plywood and then um, smooth it down and varnish it. But this one is a nice practical stand and feels great to use.